Hey baby, we didn't made it, man. I'm excited about the weekend. So many things are going on, man. I just stay on my social media, Boogie Balboa. I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view into everything that's popping this weekend, but it's going to be fun. Yo, I got this thing in my spirit, man. I wanted to be able to share it with you real quick. I was reading this scripture uh, on in the Bible. It says like this. For he says in a favorable time, I listened to you, and in a day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. I actually was going over that scripture in my head, and, and I was, you know, going through a bunch of stuff, you know, just stress at work, and a whole bunch of different things that I thought I didn't deserve to be going through, you know what I'm saying? And um, as I broke down the scripture, of course, I started to take looks and it says, as I reread the scripture, it says, for he says in a favorable time, okay? In a favorable time to me means in my due season. So in my due season, I listened to you. And in the day of salvation, I actually helped you. And then the scripture goes on to says, behold, now, behold, immediately, behold, right now is the favorable time. Behold, right now is the day of salvation. So check this out. As I started to dig a little bit deeper, I thought, you know what? Right now in my problem, right now in my situation, whatever it is that I'm going through, this is the time that God wants me to have my supreme moment. When you uh, start to break down that word, you start to see the Kairos moment. You start to see that God says, I don't care in what situation you are in, your time is right now. I don't care how bad you think it is, your time is right now. You are in the perfect moment to create change. Oh, you're stressed out? Your time is now. Oh, your health is off? Well, then your time to create change is right now. The Bible says this, uh, for everything there is a season and for everything there is a time under heaven. For everything, there is a season. And for everything, there is a time under heaven. Time. Boy, we just never have enough time. I'm actually late for work right now, but I had to get this thing, this message out of my heart real quick. So I'm out of time right now. But time and water, those are like these commodities that we can't hold in our hand. And we never have enough time, but we always seem to have enough time to simply waste it. Or we have enough time to notice what other people are doing. We have enough time to get on the gram. We have enough time to keep up with the Kardashians. We have enough time to get on Facebook. We have enough time to do all these other things that don't benefit us. Why? Because we would rather just sit down and wish that we were other people or hate the fact that we're going through something so much so that we can't have the breakthrough and the joy that other people are having. But God says that right now in your time, whatever your time is, no matter how bad it is, it is your moment to be supreme. It is your moment to have your Kairos breakthrough so that you don't have to be going through the same mess that you going through all the time. Let me, let me get you to this story real quick. Back when NASA first started sending uh, astronauts into space, they found out quickly that pens didn't write in zero gravity, right? Because the ink would, would, would float up. So when they got back to Earth, they went ahead and they contracted this place, uh, Anderson, Anderson Consulting. They contracted this place and Anderson Consulting developed a pen that would write in zero gravity. Not only would it write in zero gravity, but uh, it would write in extreme cold weather. It would it would write in extreme hot weather. I mean, this thing could write on absolutely any surface. They spent about $12 million on developing this pen that would write in outer space. Man, we were on top of it. Boy, the U.S. was the bomb the Russians simply used the pencil <laughs> and that's a true story that's a true story the fact is, is that sometimes we try to do so much that we ain't doing nothing at all we sitting down and we're just wanting to be the best we wanting to be the bomb and we forget to have our supreme moment when we are in the middle of our most damaged time man we got to be able to clear out all of the nonsense so that we can build the good thing that God wants us to build. Your moment is right now. Your time is today. I don't care how bad you got it. It's Friday.
Friday and the weekend is here. I don't care what you got going on in your stress. God says in this favorable time, in your situation right now, in your due season, I listen to you. In your moment, I listen to you. I heard you. Stop overthinking your work. <laughs> I'm sorry that I started preaching, but this thing got into my spirit and I just wanted to share it with somebody. I don't care if you don't want to hear this or not. You were created for this time. You were created for this opportunity. You were created for the bad that you're going through right now so that you can have the breakthrough that is due you soon. Famo! The weekend is here. Boy, we're going to go and get these eight hours out of the way. But the weekend is here, man. We're going to have us a blast this weekend. I'm going to talk to you soon, man. You know what it is. Boogie Bow. Boa, man. Peace.